Hey guys, welcome back for another bath bomb demo. Okay, so tonight I've got the Holy Water Bubble Bath from Copper Cat Apothecary. Now, when I did this unboxing, I called this bath bomb dust and I was wrong. It is bubble bath. So I wanted to go ahead and do this and correct myself, but this is super cool. Of course, it's inspired by The Exorcist. And you know what? That is one horror movie I have never been able to get through. I tried to watch it once, a long time ago. I was either a teenager or in my 20s and I still have never been able to go back and watch it. It just has just terrified me. So um, I really don't know a lot about it. It's just super, super scary and creepy. But um, I do know that this, um, this is inspired by that movie. And um, so I'm going to take this. Um, it's a little butter bark wafer and her butter bark is super cool um, that goes with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and take the cap off the holy water and um, get started with this. So hang on one second. Okay, so the scent of this, actually mine is different. Jenny was nice enough to make me a different scent because she knows how much I love peach. So she made mine in peach. The actual scent, what you will get on her Etsy site is black pepper and vetiver. And I got a little mixed up on the unboxing with that too because I'm getting so much in right now and I'm getting a little bit confused. You know, I get overwhelmed and I'm just, sometimes I'm just, you know, not always right. You know, nobody's perfect. So um, anyway, I can't really describe the scent to you because this is not the one you'll get off of her site. But um, just a side note, she does a lot of custom. She'll do custom orders. She makes those really cool three-tiered cakes. So if you just, you know, message her and talk to her, you know, maybe she can do something different for you too. If there's just something that you really would like to have different or, um, you know, you just have some special needs or whatever. She's just really, really awesome to work with. But anyway, the other cool thing about this holy water is that it could be a color changer. This could be either a cool teal color or a black, depending on whether you're a sinner or a saint. So I'm excited to see what that looks like too. So anyway, let's go ahead and get it in the water and see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, this is fun. I'm trying to look through the camera. I want to, I want to just kind of look at the water. So this might not. Is this? Is this? What color is this? It looks like it's red. What in the world? This is so neat. Okay, I'm just gonna stand back for a second. This is cool. Oh my. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do some more. It's almost gone. It's like a like a dark wine color, purple eggplant. Oh, that's so cool. That is so so cool. It smells really, really good. So I have no doubt that whichever scent you get, um, it's going to be a good scent. Look at that. That's so pretty. So pretty. Look at those colors. Oh my goodness. It's a gorgeous teal, like a wine color. So pretty, so cool. Okay, let's see what. Um, let's see what should I do? Let's do. Hmm. Okay, let's do the butter bark first. Hang on one sec. Now, 
I'm going to need to be really, really careful because I just put a whole crap load of bubble bath in my tub. And it's going to be awesome, but I just need to really be careful. I cannot let this get too high. That is a really pretty swirl. That is just color on top. This hasn't even been on a minute. We are right at 60 seconds right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off and we'll check these out. I just can't get over the top of this water. It's just so cool looking. It has this mysterious, it almost looks like it could be a fog. Of course, my imagination just is, you know, kind of playing with the whole theme here. But it's it's this white, it's this just thin veil of white froth. It's really, really cool. Let's check out the color of the water underneath there. Very, uh, I need to think of a word to describe this color. It's purple, but it's got a little red, and it's deep, but it's not quite eggplant. I don't know, it's a really cool color. But anyway, um, so my butter bark, it crumbled when I, when I got it out of the package, but that's okay because you're really supposed to crumble it up, and um, it blows up in your hand, and it's so cool. So this is just, the holy water's cool enough, but this is a real, this is a real bonus because this stuff is just really neat. So soft. Got a couple more pieces. Oh, it's just so soft. It feels so good. So this is gonna make the water nice and soft. Okay, now we're gonna check on the bubbles. So these are actually a little bit higher than my seat back there. Oh, they're so soft. They're really, they're really dense and creamy at the same time. So I'm not going to be able to turn these on anymore because they're just going to keep building. They're really, really thick. <laughs> okay, so it definitely comes to my elbow down there. Oh, it's just so nice. Okay, so if you were to use this at home, um, I don't recommend putting in the whole thing. I mean, you could if you don't have jets. Um, and you agitate your water, you could still just definitely make this into two baths. For sure, still. Okay, well, I'm going to hop in the shower, and um, I'll let you guys know how it was when I'm done. I'm sure it'll be fabulous. All right, guys, so I'm done with my Copper Cat Apothecary Holy Water Bubble Bath, and holy bubbles, there were so many. It was awesome. I actually did turn my jets on one more time when I was in there, even though I said I wasn't going to because I was just in there for so long, and I was enjoying myself so much. The moisture level was really nice, the scent was really nice, and the way the color changed in the water, it was just so cool. I just love this idea. So definitely hop over to her Etsy, Etsy shop and check her out. She's got a lot of cool Halloween items, and she does have a little deal going where you get 15% off, $25 or more. So it's just really good deal. You would never ever need to use this whole thing in one go, so that's a good deal too. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I guess I'll just see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.